Hi, welcome back to Retro Renovations. So today we are in Faith the Transit Camper Van. As you can see there, Jackie boy. Hello Jackie boy. So, winter's coming and we've got a big trip coming up, going to Cornwall. And Faith isn't winter ready because above the cab she doesn't have no insulation or ceiling because it's been we totally removed it in the summer to do the roof and we haven't got this far so today I must get on with the roof so come join us as we show you what we're doing <laughs> We're back in the yard. There's uh, Big Bess. There she is. As, she, as we say, she's sits there permanently, and we're taking our faith. Now, as I was coming into the yard, it's extremely tight squeeze to get into this yard, and unfortunately, the sun was really out today, and I had to go back and forth. And as I went back and forth, the sun was blinding my mirrors. You can still see the sun probably, yeah. So that was what my mirrors were like. They weren't much use. And I caught the corner. Damn. They're sturdy, these transits. So, uh, nothing too major. It just, it would have been one piece of plastic and now it's two. So I need to trim this off. Put that back on there. Screwed there, look, a bit crudely screwed. Put that back on there. We're, and uh, we're fiberglass over the job for another day I think because um, it's underneath the body so it's not really going to cause any damp or anything like that it's just a trip for show really so I'm going to put that in the gas locker for safekeeping and that will be a repair for another day because the other side's missing anyway so we we'll have to repair both sides at some point but yeah let's get on with the roof so we'll start off with the timber we need we got given this timber and they're really long lengths so good stuff that should be more than enough so you might remember that we were putting this roofing in and then if I swing above this is the cab area swing above the cab area where the skylight is you can see there's only a board of insulation there, the back piece is bonded in and there's boarded insulation there and what I'm going to try and do off of these drawers here is I'm going to try and make an outer frame going across there over to these cupboards and the same that side put a frame across and then I'm going to try and put three or four strips across an inch lower so that I can tuck this insulation over the top okay apologies that you didn't just see what I've done so far because I put my phone down and lost it <laughs> so I've put in a piece of 2x4 and that's securely in there and that's supporting this original frame that goes across the door so a nice piece of 2x4 in there I've then put a piece going up to the roof I've then supported the whole thing with another bit of inch by inch and a half. I've then used the original block work, let me just hold you there. I've used the original block work in the frame and I've stepped it out with a piece of inch by inch and a half. And now what I've done is I've gone across with that. And I'm just going to secure that end and I'm going to do a matching on the other side. So I'll film the other side so you guys can see it. This side's much narrower. So I've cut a piece of timber to length. And I've also angled the top 
because the cur roof curves in so that fits like so and we're now going to secure that into the bottom because that's nice big thick board at the bottom and I'm going to use this stuff joint and joist adhesive or D4 as it's known kindly given to me by Eddie it's really powerful stuff so that will bond onto there and like I say that will screw into there right, I've just cut that one I'm going to use this as a template on this one so we get the same cut mark it with a marker pen They should be the same, let's hope. So I'm just led at the top, as you can see. That's supported on the original frame. That's supported on a piece of 2x4. Then you've got a thick 4 inch insulation, because that's 4 inch stuff there. And then I put a batten in there and goes up to the top and that is glued and bonded and obviously all the weight bearing down push it into the stem down there Okay, so what we're with, that right beam screwed in and glued, a cross beam screwed in and glued. That's the cross beams in. All I gotta do now is put a beam either side of there and then we can thread the insulation through. I've got an assistant so what you might see off camera I put some expanding foam in the corners at the top and over there to fill behind and now I've laid down which I've been laying on the whole job the insulation so we're going to try and feed that over the top now and then we're going to trim off what we don't need and obviously we need to trim the skylight as well dog just knocked stuff off the side. Are you happy about that Jack? What are you doing boy? Are you happy about that? You gonna lay down? Sit. Yeah, there you go. Animals. They say you can't work with them. You can't work with animals and can't work with children. You definitely can't work with Chloe. Thanks.
So there it is. Skylights open. Space age insulation. Now we're going to get cladding done. that's it for today people we got the framework in we got the insulation in and we got either side of the skylight so obviously on part two when we come back to this we're gonna finish both sides Peggy's just literally just finished the insulation off can you see it there and she's just done she's, Jack, she's just done by the door there we're more insulating in this van so yeah uh, we've got this shiny stuff. Let me see if I can find some. We've got this rainbow stuff. So if I stand under the skylight, it's the same stuff we've used in our Big Bess and in the bathroom of Faith, this fan. Yeah, lovely. You can see that. So what I'm thinking of doing for the join is that's going to join up like that across the across the beam and then it will go in to the middle and then it will go up and around the skylight that's the plan anyway but we got a big job coming up in Cornwall so um, it's gonna have to stay like this for a little while but thank you for joining us it's been fun it's been a lovely day and we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one, Jackie boy. See you on the next one.